In May of 2014, Susan Desmond Hellman became CEO of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation a charitable organization that has contributed more than $30 billion to improve healthcare development and education around the world since it was formed 15 years ago. She recently sat down with Recode in the foundation's Seattle headquarters to discuss why she took on the role, the ongoing challenges of confronting infectious diseases around the world, and what she hopes the Gates Foundation can achieve in the next 15 years. One of the reasons I'm here is I love the mission of the foundation and the the rally cry, I think you could call it, um, all lives have equal value. One of the ways I encourage people to think about it is a giant anti-poverty strategy. We want people to uh, all have a chance at having a, a happy and productive life. Globally, from the start, Bill and Melinda were really struck about how unfair it felt to them that children didn't have an equal chance because if you're, you're born and you have a very high chance of dying before you're even five years old, how could you have a chance at life? How could you have equity? If you look at the countries where we operate and you look at countries that are really um, struggling with poverty and inequity, one of the things that happens in many of those countries is that even simple affordable tools like vaccines, one of our favorite tools, don't get to where they're needed. There's not access to prenatal care. There's not access to simple things like a safe delivery, family planning. So for us, when we look at cost-effective ways of thinking about um, improving people's ability to have a chance at life, health is such a great lever. It's not missed anyone's attention that one of the reasons Ebola could take hold in these three West African countries was the absence of a working primary health care system. The second thing that Ebola points out to all of us is how much disease tracking, knowing something's happening and, and recognizing it early is very important. When you're trying to innovate and make things better, you should take risks, thoughtful, calculated risks, and have a dialogue when what you wanted to have happen doesn't happen. I'm a product developer in cancer. I learned a long time ago that it, the best way to make things better is to be bold, to be honest, and to course correct. It is great for the foundation to push ourselves to ask the question, what have we contributed in our first 15 years? What I like about that framing is it is a perfect prologue to a discussion about what could we accomplish in the next 15 years. We want projects to end. We want some victories. We expect these investments to pay off. And so we're having a process internally, and we've involved all the employees in this conversation. What would we like the history books to say about the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in 2030?